大家好，我是 Eddie， 欢迎来到你好汉语。What's up, my Eddie gang? Gang, gang, gang! Welcome to another episode of Ni Hao Chinese, which is a fun Mandarin learning channel hosted by the amazing Eddie G. Well, today's episode is kind of special because it's not about good language. Actually, it's about bad language. I am going to teach you how to cuss, how to say swear words in Chinese. Well, I have thought about it for a while. I Was thinking about whether it's a good topic or not, and I also ask for suggestions on Facebook because I have a lot of friends,、um, online friends there, who are lang- Chinese language lovers, and they think it's okay, and they are quite interested in it. They are expecting it. I mean, yes. Knowing how to say swear words is quite important. I'm not encouraging you guys to swear in Chinese. However, think about it. A lot of people, when they start to learn language, the first thing they're curious about is the bad language. I mean, that is kind of like the nature of people. And come on, we're adults. I'm not teaching little kids. I think we can handle that, right? And think about it. When you come to China, what if you meet some really rude people and they're saying bad things to you? How can you defend yourself? I mean, you don't have to be a low person to say really nasty things to people, just in case you catch what they say, and then you know what to do, right? I believe you guys don't want to be so stupid when people are saying bad things to you and you have no idea what they are talking about, right? Well, let's get started. Woman, 开始吧 Today's lesson I will divide it into two parts. One is the PG thirteen level, and the other one is the X rated level. It's gonna be so nasty. Are you ready? 准备好了吗 All right, let's start with the PG thirteen level, which is not too bad. Number one. 笨蛋，笨蛋，笨蛋，笨。This character literally means stupid or dumb or foolish. 蛋 literally means an egg, stupid egg. 笨蛋 When you say 笨蛋 you mean stupid or silly. It's actually not a swear word or a cussing word because in a situation like when you are a parent and your child. Uh, does some really silly things or ask you silly questions, and even the questions are cute and silly. You can say, "Oh, 笨蛋 It's like, "Oh, you silly," and then you say, "笨蛋笨蛋 Or somebody does something wrong accidentally, and you can say, "Oh, 笨蛋笨蛋 The next one is 傻瓜傻瓜傻瓜傻 This word literally means stupid or foolish or silly. It's an alternative for 笨 This word just now we learned 笨 also means foolish, something like that. 瓜 means a melon, stupid melon. 傻瓜 That also means silly or stupid or you know foolish, but it's really not offensive. Okay, it's not like. Like fuck you or shit, you know. Even between lovers, like boyfriend and girlfriend,、uh, or parents and children,、uh, if they wanna say "oh you silly," they can say 傻瓜傻瓜 or 笨蛋 Just now we talked about that. But if you really think somebody is so stupid, so dumb, so retarded, then I have better words coming. So stay tuned. Sometimes between lovers, boyfriend and girlfriend, a boyfriend like to call a girlfriend 小傻瓜 Actually, they add 小 little this word in front of、uh, 傻瓜 which becomes 小傻瓜 little stupid or little silly. Yeah, because little sounds very cute. And the boy or the girl will call each other 傻瓜 or 小傻瓜 to show that the other person is so love sick. I want to give you guys a detailed example to help with your understanding of using 傻瓜 or 小傻瓜 these two words. I mean between lovers. Okay, let's say、um, a boyfriend is going away for a business trip, and he's going. Going away for a really long time, like half a year or a couple months, and the girlfriend is not happy about that, and she says, "Oh, I will miss you, and I will miss you every day." And the boyfriend will be like, "Oh, come on, I will come back home eventually. It's not like that. You are not gonna see me forever or something silly." So notice here, if the boy says, "Oh, silly, don't worry, I will come back eventually," and then in this case, the boy can tell the girl, "小傻瓜，傻瓜 I will be back." 
xiao xia gua, I will be back. So in whole Chinese, it will be xiao xia gua, wo hui hui lai de. Xia gua, wo hui hui lai de. That means I'll oh, see you. I will be back. Next one is chun huo. Chun huo. Chun huo. Chun here means retarded. Huo is like a stuff or a product. Retarded product, chun huo. That's a little offensive. If you call somebody chun huo, that sounds you really mean it. You're not joking. Because just now I said if you say um, 笨蛋 or 傻瓜, that sounds like you're joking. But if you say 蠢货, that means you say, oh, stupid, retarded, something like that. Next one, 弱智, 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 弱 literally means weak, and it's the opposite of strong, weak, okay, 弱. 智 means your intelligence, your IQ. Uh, 弱智 means weak intelligence, literally. What does that mean? 弱智 is kind of like a disease, okay? Like, technically, it is a disease. You describe a person or a child who was born uh, with very low IQ and is not smart at all. It's a disease. Like, when you are mentally ill, you are 弱智. But now, we also use 弱智 to, to cuss people, to, um, it's kind of like a swear word. If you call somebody 弱智, who is not, uh, really, who doesn't really have that disease, then you are trying to cuss that person. You're trying to swear on that person. 弱智, that means you retarded. You stupid shit. 弱智. Let me tell you guys one example so that you know how to use it in the correct context. Let's say on some social media page like Facebook or YouTube, okay? Somebody is making some really extreme comments like it's not rational at all and that person is being really radical, like not rational at all, then you can say, oh, come on, 弱智, you are 弱智, 弱智, you're retarded. Now, let's move on to the X-rated, very nasty, naughty words. I feel like a naughty teacher today, but I know you guys low-key love it. The first one is son of a bitch. Wang ba dan. Wang ba dan. Wang ba dan. Wang ba dan means son of a bitch. Wang literally is a Chinese family name. Even though you don't know Chinese, you must heard this family name uh, in TV shows or movies like Mr. Wang, Mrs. Wang, that Wang, Wang, okay, Wang is a Chinese family name. And Ba, Ba, this is um, the hand gesture for number eight in Chinese. This is Ba. Uh, ba means eight. Dan means egg. Egg again. Wang Ba Dan means son of a bitch. Actually, Wang Ba Dan is kind of like a soft version of translating son of a bitch because we have a really, really, really nasty and literal translation of son of a bitch. What is a bitch? In English context, a bitch means a whore, a prostitute, and you are promiscuous in sex, and then you find a man to give a birth to a baby, and that baby doesn't know his or her father. That's a bitch, right? Like, technically. And if you really want to say son of a bitch in a really, really, really bad, bad way, okay, teacher Eddie is gonna say that out anyway. I know it's bad. 婊子养的婊子 Yangda So Biaozi, this word I'm gonna tell you guys is really 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 bad. Don't just say that to anybody. Unless you're extremely pissed off, you can say Biaozi. Because let me let me tell you what Biaozi means, okay? And then you you will know how serious it is. Biaozi means a whore, a prostitute, or a cunt. C-U-N-T. Yang is to raise, like raise up a child. And if you call somebody was raised up by a cunt or a prostitute, that is 婊子养的. But we think in Chinese, 婊子养的 means son of a bitch. That's a very rude translation of son of a bitch. But if you don't want to be that rude, yeah, if you just are quarreling with people on the street, or you are having an argument with your husband, your wife even, you can say son of a bitch. 
If in this case, you can just say 王八蛋 because 王八蛋 is kind of soft. If you say 王八蛋 I know that you are swear at me, but I will not be extremely pissed off that I want to hit you.、Uh, if you say 王八蛋 I know that you are fighting with me. Okay, it is a bad word, but not as bad as 婊子样的婊子样 is like you are raised up by a whore, a cunt. That's serious. Next one, 傻逼傻逼傻逼傻逼 Well, this word is offensive,、um, but 傻 this this word literally means stupid or silly. Do you remember 傻瓜傻瓜 is not offensive at all, right? Because it's it's PG thirteen level.、Um, but the offensive word in this phrase is b b. While be this word literally in the dictionary, it's not offensive. Okay,、uh, in the dictionary it says it's to push somebody. If I force you, push you to do something, that means be because in that context, be means a verb. But here, be is a very rude way or a very slang way to call a pussy or a vagina in this very context. So it works as a Now, so every time you know, no matter in in the whole world, in which country, people like to use sexual organs or private parts to swear on people, right? So in China, it's the same. B is a rude way to say pussy or vagina. If you combine 傻 and B together, that means stupid, stupid vagina or stupid cunt, something like that. 傻 B. Remember, this one is offensive as well. 蠢猪，蠢。猪，蠢猪，蠢 means retarded. 猪 means pig. 蠢猪 means retarded pig. That means you are retarded. Because in Chinese context, we think 猪 is really stupid and retarded because all they know is to eat and they're filthy. Um, yeah. So 蠢猪 means retarded pig. This one is. Offensive too, I guess.、Um, if you really want to fight with or argue with somebody, you can say 蠢猪 to make make the other person feel very angry. Then you can say 蠢猪 Yes. Next word is 他妈的，他妈的，他妈的。他 literally means his. It's a possessive word. 妈 means mother. 他妈的 means his mother's. That's possessive. That's the literal translation. However, in this context, tamad is like fucking, and it works as a、um, as an adjective. Okay. Let me give you a sentence to help you with your understanding. If you want to say、um, fucking shitty weather, you say tamad 鬼天气。tamad 鬼天气。tamad 鬼天气。Fucking shitty weather because tamada works as an adjective here means fucking, and、uh, gui means shitty. I mean, I know some of you guys,、uh, if you have already learned Chinese, you know gui literally means a ghost, right? But here, if you are not happy with something, you can say gui works as an adjective means shitty, and tianqi means weather. Tamada gui tianqi means shitty, a fucking shitty weather. Next one is bitch. 贱人，贱人，贱人，贱人 means a bitch. 贱人 This translation is a soft version of a bitch. It's not like a real cunt or real prostitute, something like that. Not a whore. 贱人 is just like. In English, say, "Oh, you bitch," something like that. Sometimes you can use that to messing around with your good friend or best friend. You can call, "Oh, bitch." You know, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie always call each other bitch. Like, imagine that context. You can call your best friend or your good friend a bitch because you just wanna joking around or mess around. It could be、uh, boys versus boys. You can call, "Oh, you bitch," or、uh, a girl versus a girl. Oh, bitch. You can say, 贱人贱人，贱人。All right, you guys. I'm sorry. I have to end this episode in advance because an accident happened. My mom just came back, and I live with my mom. So what I do is under her spy. Even I close my doors, but my voice is really big. I'm so loud. I'm afraid that my mother will 
hear me teaching you guys really nasty and bad words, I have to close the show in advance. When next time my mom is not at home, I will teach you the second part of Chinese swearing and cussing words.